Hey, what's up guys, Theo here, and in this video, we're just going to run through a very basic setup using create React app, uh, Re React Redux, which is the uh, middleware to connect uh, Redux with React in your application. Basically, just show you how to go ahead and create your basic store, um, because a lot of times, just doing these basic things, there can be some confusion around this. So, with further ado, I'm going to change directory to my desktop and fire up uh, Create React App. Create React App. I'm just going to call it Simple Redux React. I'm going to let that build. Might need to install this module. I haven't used this in quite a while, at least on my Mac. Basically, Create React App, uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, is just a uh, basically sort of pre-built setup that gets you going with Webpack, the latest ES6 features, uh, live reload, um, or pop module replacement, um, or Webpack dev server, I should say, that has pop module replacement built in. And so yeah, once this finishes, I think at this point, yeah, we're gonna be using Webpack 2 with this, but let's see, because I have not updated this in a while. So using Webpack 3, it's probably still the same. Um, but that's not, again, that's not really the point of this. We're just gonna look at creating a basic store and show you guys what that will look like here. Cool, so let's get this up and going. Almost there. Awesome. So we can do yarn start to start the development server. So let's go ahead and change into that and type yarn start. And let's see how this opens it up for us. Okay. There's 3000. Starting development server. All right, cool. So. Uh, once we have this up and running right here, um, we can go ahead and go ahead and open Sublime. And do Redux. Or sorry, React Redux. So now I'm going to call it Simple. Right. Simple. Cool. And then let's open this with Sublime Text. And. Cool, so we got it right here and the basic structure. Here's our app. So what I want to do, and I'm not going to hook it up with any routing really, that's just not the point, but um, just to get it set up, I'm going to go ahead and do npm i d uh, redux and react redux. And from that, what I can do is I can go ahead and I'm going to do it all in this file, it doesn't really matter. So the way this works is we're going to go ahead and import create store from Redux. And this is a function that takes in uh, basically a reducer and then a loaded or an initial state. And this will allow you to access properties like, um, you know, get state, subscribe, dispatch. This, since we're just doing it with one, we'll just do dispatch. So uh, let's look at this and we have create store. And then what I also want is a provider, right? So what we can do here first, let me go ahead and let's just build our store. So we will say const store equals create store. And now we gotta pass this in store. So let's go ahead and build a store. And we're just gonna build a very basic uh, counter application. So we're gonna say const counter reducer. This is a, just a function. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually take in and an, an initial state, so when say state, I'm gonna give it an initial state, and it's also gonna have an action. So what we're gonna do is write a very simple switch statement here, which is going to go ahead and switch on the action type. And so we'll just give it a case of increment. And all we wanna do here is go ahead and return um, We'll just we'll create, let's see, what do I want my state to be? We'll just have 
Yeah, the state will just be a number. So we'll just say return return state plus equal to one. Um, and then we'll do case decrement. Right? And this is a very, very simple example. Return state minus equal one. And our default is going to be just return the state of, of the um, of the store. Uh, so let's create our initial state. So we'll say initial state, and all it's going to be is just zero, right? So it's just it's just zero. It's just a number. Um, so what is it telling me? Unexpected token. Ah, my bad. So so that's our counter reducer right there. And what is it telling me? Expected the reducer to be a function. So we haven't actually passed it in yet. Let's go ahead and pass in counter reducer. And that should work. And let's go ahead and look at uh, what our store is. Okay. So let's, let me open this up here, inspect it, and let's look at what we have. What actually is our store? So our store is an object with all these methods on it, right? Dispatch, get state, replace reducer. Let me see. I don't have the Redux dev tools on here, but now what we can do is um, I can go ahead and import from React Redux a component called Provider. And what this will do, we can wrap our components in this. Okay. So what we can do here, I'm going to take all of this out. I'm going to say Provider. What you can do with Provider is you pass it a copy of your store. So store equals store. And then here we'll just have a um, I don't know, sh uh, show component, whatever. And let me go ahead and build that out real quick. Say show component dot JS. All right, and what will show component be? Uh, show component will just be import uh, component um, react. React, okay, and we'll say export default, um, or we'll do class, uh, show component, extends the component, render method. And all it's going to do here is basically just go ahead and return some JSX. Show component and um, go ahead and export that. Export default show, show component right there. And then we will import it. Okay. And why is it complaining? Report component. Is it not support that now? Maybe Import. Let me just change it. That should. So hello show component, and now I want to import connect from React Redux, and what connect does is it basically creates a higher order component from our component, so it wraps our component in a component that passes down the store, and there's an option, there's an argument to the connect function. So what we can do here is we can say connect, right? And we can just call it like this. And I'll show you what will happen if we call it like that. If we call it like that, we look at, what's it say? If we call it like that, we look at the React DevTools, we can sort of see now we have our app. We've got a prov provider that's wrapping, right? And then we have connect, show component, and show component as its props as access to dispatch right that's 
it's the most simple um, it's the most simple thing right and what I can also do here is I can say store dot subscribe and basically every time we get an update here it's called store dot get, get state okay so that's a very simple way to look at what's happening so let's look at let's look at that right and we can sort of see that uh, cool so get rid of that so what I can actually do inside of here um, will be let's see in the show component when it actually on its component did mount lifecycle event I'm going to call this dot props dot dispatch and um, I'm just going to give it a type of increment. Okay. We can look at what happens there. Okay, so let's look. And now, if we look in here, see it has one, right? Because that's our store, right? And if we were to call it again, right? So we we'll, uh, put this in a loop, right? And we'll just do a for loop. Or, or i equals zero. zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and then we'll just dispatch it. Oh. Okay, so now if we dispatch it, for i is equal to zero. Okay, so now if we dispatch this, we can see, right, one, two, three. Plus six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're actually dispatching. So that's what you get with connect. If you uh, if you don't right, if you don't actually uh, give it any arguments, but we can come down here and write a function. We're just going to look at this first function. It's called map state to props. And basically, what this would do um, is through this module of React Redux and this connect function. Um, we can give it a function that, let me make sure I got these arguments right. Let me see, home props and home state. And then let me also log props. Also log props. Make sure I got these right. Home state. So now if we register this right here, map state to props. What is it telling me about? What is it doing up there? Okay. So let's look at that if we register that. So now what we get back here is uh, own props. So I, I did that wrong. Um, this is actually state and own props is an object so we can just do state right so this state that react redux is passing is from that uh, provider the store so what we can do say if we want this, this component to have all the state from our store now what I can do is I, I can just return the state so now I can actually just change this to state state okay let's get that must return a plain object, right? So what we can do is actually just return state. And, uh, okay. state. Let's return plain object. Uh, I think that's what I did wrong. So I think I gotta at least make my initial state uh, count to zero. Turn state dot count. Change that out. And we'll go back in here. Let's see, Let's see. Try one more time. Make sure we got this now. Okay, cool. So now, uh, what I can do is I can prove to you that this component now has access to the store, right? So here's our store, and 
what I can do is I can get r r dot store r dot store dot get state, and our store is an object with the count of zero. So now if I go inside of here and show combine, I can sh show you that we indeed have our count of zero. So I can do one more thing, and I can just render, or I can hook up this. We'll just do it here. We'll just create a basic button. And we'll have a onClick method. And basically, on click, we're just going to dispatch um, with a type of increment. Increment. All right. Let's make sure that's good to go. We're just going to. Ah, uh -uh, my bad. Okay. So, let's do that. Just stop props of this patch and just prove that it's in here. I can say uh, count is equal to. Uh, um, this dot props dot count. Okay, so our count is zero, and there you go. Hold on, what is concrete property count on number one? State dot count. This section will do return equals change this to count. Okay, cool. So I was just trying to update that incorrectly. Um, but basically this method is just let's return all the state and then let's update this, this one property. And then just to implement the decrement, we can go ahead and grab this same method right here and change this to type uh, decrement, de decrement, and just to show you guys, right, increment, decrement, our whole store is in state, is in sync. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, thanks for, wa thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.